Well, it shares a name with a classic cartoon character, a newly unveiled defense platform is light years ahead of Wile E. Coyote's nemesis. The Roadrunner and the Roadrunner M are both built by defense contractor Enduril and are described by their maker as AI-guided, drone-hunting autonomous jets. Despite sounding like the newest high-tech toy, the man behind the project says the Roadrunners are mobile, effective, and make financial sense. They can be easily deployed and keep service members out of harm's way, all at a cost-effective price. The man headlining the effort is no stranger to bringing new tech to market. Palmer Lucky, best known as the founder of Oculus and the creator of the Oculus Rift, told CNBC the two-year project was motivated by the increased threats to U.S. and allied troops from what are known as kamikaze drones. What makes the Roadrunner different from earlier drone hunters is its ability to quickly carry out a mission and then return to its launch point where it can be serviced and reloaded for another mission in a very short period of time. It can also take off and land vertically, eliminating the need for a runway and making it versatile enough to be used in any kind of terrain. The Roadrunner M is a long-range option that carries a high-explosive warhead to go after jet-powered threats and protect the troops on the ground. The Roadrunner base model can be fitted with modular payloads that can be used for a variety of mission sets, like hitting a specific target before turning back to refuel and rekit for another mission. Perhaps the most important aspect to those currently in the fight, Roadrunners aren't just prototypes. Lucky says these UAVs are already in production with an as yet unnamed US military partner soon to be taking delivery. One reason why the Roadrunner and the M variant can be priced far below their competitors in the arena is the way Andrew develops and markets their products on their own dime. Opting to build with their own money rather than looking to win a defense-funded contract for production, Andrew essentially brings a ready-made defense system to the table. So how much will U.S. taxpayers be on the hook for when it comes to putting the Roadrunner in the hands of the military? The 31-year-old Lucky says the unit price is in the low hundreds of thousands of dollars. Meep meep, I want to.